wasn't that a fantastic flight in this morning to meet the MV flight list and Maria here owns and operates Pure Salt and she's going to take care of us throughout our journey in Dusky Sound. And Maria, you've got this chart of the area. It's quite complicated with all the islands and things. Can you just tell us a bit about where we're going to be for the week and the, the main features? Yeah, well, flying in today gives you an idea how big the place is. And they see 14 of these fjords, it's kind of a big place. And we're flying in right at the head of one of them, Sabakai, at the head of Dusky Sound, um, which also connects to Breaksea Sound through the Akron Passage. And um, that whole area is called Dusky Sound Area. Tamatea and all of it got over 365 islands so it's a big big place um, and for us um, we're going to spend most of our time at the head of um, Dusky Sound this trip probably around about Indian Island and Long Island also Anchor Island exploring some of the history spots and also looking at some of the work we do and um, getting you guys to really connect with the place. Fantastic so I guess a lot of your trips are in this area Tell us a bit more about the focus of your trips, what people could expect if they come on a, a trip with Pure Salt. Well, if you're coming onto, onto Flightless with us, it's kind of like a floating batch. So you have all the toys with you. There's kayaks and paddle boards and fishing rods and tenders to go play with and go diving and free diving. And this is our playground. We could just go out and explore it. There is no schedule and no personal you know, food times and meeting times. And we just go and play. So Kiwis come out and have fun with us and connect with a wonderful place we're in. Indeed, and I'm so looking forward to exploring the place a little bit more. So you rely on this amazing environment uh, for your business, for mm -hmm. Pure Salt. So you've been giving back to this environment. How have you been doing that? Well, for us it's home, so giving back for us was um, getting in touch with the doc who looks after this place as well, seeing what we can do, and they said, well, actually, um, you could help us with a really big vision. The vision for Tamatea Dusky Sound is to actually to be completely restored as an ecosystem. To look something like what Captain Cook would have seen 250 years ago if he came through here or something like the local Maori lived in. So um, it's a big vision and our pace is to look after Indian Island. And from there we've also jumped onto Long Island so we're putting traps on the ground to get rid of the predators that are predating on our birds in here. So that's the first step but there's plenty more to it. Mm, and getting rid of those introduced predators that had only just started to arrive when Europeans arrived and, and the rats that, that Māori brought really have changed this land so trapping them is really important. But it must take a really long time. This must be a really big plan that you've got going. Oh, it's a very big plan. You're not thinking about today and tomorrow or the next five years. You're thinking about generations to come. And that's why I'm bringing everybody from small to, to old into the picture. Because what we're starting here needs to be carried on in the next 50, 60, 100 years. And being part of this voyage, you're also part of the vision. And I'm really excited to be able to contribute to this and learn how to do the trapping and help out. It's going to be a fantastic week. Kia ora. Um, thanks, Maria. We're looking forward to it. Cheers, Sally. Cheers.